Hi, I'm Katrina Reid and welcome back to my channel. Now, because it's spring in Australia, once again, we're surrounded by beautiful flowers. So if you enjoyed the tutorial last week, I'm preparing another one this week with these gorgeous flowers here. Now, once again, don't panic if you don't have these. You can use any flower you want or leaf element. The process will be exactly the same. So grab your paints, inks and papers and let's begin. Now, the most important thing when you're painting a flower or a botanical of any kind from nature and not from a photograph is to look at it the exact same way and that makes the whole process so much easier. So this beautiful one here is a great example. What you need to do is learn to look at the light, the way that it breaks it down into the forms as well and that's going to make it rather than one single object broken down into each part of the element as well. So sorry flower, I am pulling a leaf off here, petal I should say. And I just want you to use a part of the element like that and look at the different tones, the different shades and the shape of it, and then draw from your object as well. So let's make a start. And once again, it's not as hard as it looks. lightly sketch up the flower. I'm not going to press very heavily on this because I just don't want to see my pencil lines and remember you can always rub them out once the painting is dry but just make sure it's actually fully dry before you go to do that so you don't pull the paper fibers from underneath. Just going to start painting it in. I've picked out the dominant colours from the flower so I'm going to lay those down first. Remember to lay the water down first as well just so that you get that nice gradient naturally from the ink pulling through the water. Now you can see that I'm blending some of the orange tones and yellows with a bit of white just to get a bit of variation as I'm laying the paint down. Always using the water first and then pull it through just to get some nice tones like you have in the flower petals as well. So the main thing is we're just doing here is laying down our base and as each layer dries you can keep working over and over it again to get that depth. So I'm just going to continue to build out. You can see that there's lighter colours to the outside and this is because I want to be able to go back over once it's dry and start putting some more tone through it and also some more highlights. Don't try to rush this process because it's just really important that it's built one stage at a time. You just don't want to get the ink all blending into each other because then that doesn't leave you much room to add the variation. Now remember this is just a representation of something from the garden so you can do your own interpretation of it to develop your own style as well. It doesn't have to be perfect. If I was to put this into a painting I'd be blending it with some other leaves and flowers as well and you can see how already it's taking shape but it's not a life drawing so it's important to remember that your style in this is what makes it art as well. Now after I've laid down my base, you'll see that I'm working out, bringing the brush in and adding some more white through there. So once this layer is dry, I'm going to switch to a thinner paintbrush and I'm going to start adding some highlights in. And you can see that I'm working over the top with some white now. I also like working with pens and pencils just to get a bit more definition. Thank you. 
Now that I have a lot of highlights in there, I'm actually going to go back over each area with some of the darker orange and just put a bit more definition back into each petal. Now it seems strange that you start with the two different or three different colors and you have those in there already but remember once that layer dries you just want to go and redefine it again and this might happen two or three times over the same area. It just is a gradual building process. Remember to keep referencing back to the object that you're painting just so that you can stay on track with the colours and the tones. I also like overworking my paintings with pencil even if they're wet, just very gently. That creates a bit more definition as well. I really love overworking my paintings with not only pencil but also white pencils as well just to get a few more highlights. Now this is probably just a little bit wet so I probably should wait a bit more until it's dry and you can do that and come back to it later but I just wanted to show you how to lay down some highlights now. I'll probably also work with some pen on this just to get a bit more definition. Now I'm taking a yellow pencil and I'm going to do the same thing that we did with the lead pencil and the white pencil. Just dragging that ink through on the paper and also creating a bit more definition into the base of the painting. So now we're going to repeat the process just like we did before. The base layer underneath has had some time to dry, so I'm going to go back through and add some more of that darker orange through. This is a process I probably would repeat about six times actually, and then again with some deeper orange and red combined, just to keep building up those petals and the depths inside them as well. And then when the whole thing is dry, I'll go over the top again and add some more highlights.
finish this off, I'm just going to work through the petals with some white pen and this just creates a bit more definition. Now ideally this should be a little more dry but once again just keep working over it till you're happy. Thanks for joining me again this week and don't forget if you've liked the tutorial to like and subscribe below and if you want to learn more about painting and commit to a much bigger class then go to the link below and follow it over to the Udemy channel to see my beginner's masterclass which is an introduction to art and starting to paint botanicals. Enjoy your week and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.